the set and then won yeah. one. Yeah. So winning one set within the top eight against Jewel just before. Absolutely crazy run by this man. Venia, on the other hand, fourth in New York. So still, I mean, you know, this should be top two in each state with yeah. this position, right? So exactly. So still outperforming his seed a little bit. I mean, Jen and Mr. E, the two in between him and DeBuzz on the New York Power Ranking, already been eliminated from the tournament as well. And honestly, I couldn't be more happy for Biddy. I feel like Biddy's just been looking for his breakout performance, and today might be it. Let's see if he can continue his, like, onslaught and try his luck against Venia. Now, granted, um, I was talking to Venny about this matchup earlier, how, how he feels against Biddy. He feels comfortable with the Young Link matchup, as you can see right here, but he's actually never played Biddy before, like in a tournament set. Only oh, wow. in a couple friendlies. Wow, and yeah, both of these guys have been playing the entire life of Smash 4 at the very least. Like you said, Biddy, a Brawl veteran, Venny, a little bit later to the scene, but yeah. still. The Wi Fi of, warrior of Smash 4. Right, yeah, plenty of overlapping years and months for these two to have met in turning, but hey, man. Sometimes it just never happens right. all throughout Smash 4, right? And and now a year through Ultimate. Benny in firm control so far, though. 53. Nothing you have to be scared of Young Link, right? He's one of those characters that really has to earn the kill. Works you up to a very high percent, but has a lot of ways to figure it out. After. Right, especially those projectiles. Those projectiles, whether it's the boomerang or the bomb, really good thing to get the kill. But hey, you know what? Benny doesn't even need a follow-up after the projectile. He can just throw out a water shuriken, gets the kill. And Benny has been doing that a lot more in recent weeks. I, I feel like he never really, like, understood the strength of those shurikens until recently. When he's been getting, he's been dominating sets with those projectiles, forcing the opponent to come to him or just getting a kill. Yeah, and against a character like Young Link, I don't know if you should throw more or less projectiles than normal, right? Because he can step into you from afar. Mm. But that's also a game he's not used to playing. And if you have good projectiles of your own, it could just throw him off balance a bit. Oh, that up tilt, though. Such a disjointed hitbox on that move, covering above Greninja's head. I thought it was interesting that his punish for that move was dash attack, but I guess he just wanted to try to set him up for something bigger. And regardless, B a Biddy getting that stock against Venia, bringing this to two stocks apiece. Got the air dodge to center with the bomb falling. I like that from Biddy. Good way to cover his tracks. And you're going to see this a lot from Venia. He loves down airing opponents from up above. Playing oh, Super yeah. Mario with people, you know? Yep, just jumping off your head and man, that dash attack to fair, a go-to for Greninja. We're gonna see plenty of that as long as Benny is in the tournament. And dash attack, down tilt, neutral air, all those are such prime combo starters for Greninja. It sets him up so nicely, pops him up into the air. All right, Biddy trying to hold down center stage. He's got a lot of work to make up for at this point. Benny though, just forcing his way down with the neutral air. And this guy, he's known for his movement and his general aversion to blocking. Yeah. Right? And you see it in action right there. Landing there to dash out. Dash right back in with the dash attack, man. Come on. He actually didn't even know what the shield button was in Smash 4. So I like, don't the fact he that did. he's using it now, like, he understands parrying. And all, he also understands, confirms, getting that up smash. Not enough to get the kill just yet. Already seeing a 108%, but things are looking a little tough here for Biddy. He's got the ledge control. Try to get the up smash. What happened? Was it the water pump? No, it was a trade from the Nair. Oh. Benny, I was, yeah, able to just collide with that. Oh, oh, what in the Jesus. world? Jesus, offstage fight going on. Oh, it, he what? still triggered it. It's what? Still went, wow. <laughs> yeah, man. Greninja substitute, the counter window on that is so long. So that, ridiculously long. That was wild. Yeah, it was pretty insane. Venia, man, very innovative player and just aware. Look at that. And well, he knew it was to the, turn the counter around, too. It was the boomerang that activated Yeah, exactly, it. on the return wow. hitbox. Yeah, he just... Threw that counter out and waited for the boomerang to come back to him. He knew. He was like, all right, I see that. He probably doesn't even know that I'm about to go for this. And you had a lot of time, too, to think about it if you're a biddy. So, um, yeah, I'm going to say that Benny had just straight up caught him off guard. Caught him yeah. slipping. Well, let's see if Biddy can try to adapt here as we go into Smashville for game number two. Biddy wanted to close the distance a bit, have that middle platform to play with as well. This could be a really good stage for him because, you know, when you throw that uh, boomerang against the ground, it puts it up into the air. It's a really prime spot for it to be when you're, like, Benny is chilling on that platform, for instance. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I think just taking this room away from Benny to run around, being that he's the more mobile character by only a small margin, but very quick, fastballing characters as well. Um, I don't know. This might make Young Link's projectiles a little bit more threatening, being that they take up just a higher percentage of the stage by virtue of it being smaller. Either way, though, Venia with stage control, the tiniest lead, but of course, it's not going to last very long either. One bomb taking that out of his hands. Seeing a lot of uh, parries coming out from Venia on these projectiles. That's what you got to like learn the timing of that because it's super predictable when you see the projectiles coming out, so you should learn how to parry those. Yeah, Ooh. exactly. You've got all the time in the world to set that up, but wow, Biddy. Coming out of nowhere with the kill setup. Yep, you gotta be on the lookout for that. I think that was a Z-Drop bomb, too. 
That's the beauty of characters like Young Link, man. Even if it takes a lot of damage to get the job done, you know you have these kill confirms you could fall back on, namely bomb into aerials. Oh, oh he's, he's fine. Done. He's fine. He's fine. Yeah, he's got a bomb in hand. He got oh. back to the state. And the thing was, I thought Venny was going to go for the water pump after the bomb went off, but then he just decided to go off stage and chase after him. I understand. I get it. Forward oh. air, fade away. Looked like he tried to parry that too, because yeah. that move is pretty damn safe on block. Not a lot of landing lag, a lot of shield stun, but Biddy getting ahead of himself there, dropping a stock for it. And when you're down a game, man, eh, you got some time to play with it, right? Yep. It's best to buy for a reason. He's got a percentage lead. It's not great, but still like pretty good. Oh, here we go! Oh. All that damage off of what? Boomerang? The conversions, man. Biddy using that single hit fair drag down right into the down tilt. Beautiful stuff, and. Young Link still with a lot of room to grow as a character, man. You see how many ways he can link those hits together, no pun intended, and the damage just keeps on coming. Before you know it, you're near that kill window where he's actually going to land something on you. He went for the downer, but the up air was so active. Gets the setup. Biddy has one stock away from taking a game off of Venny. Let's see if he can pull through. Yep, cleaning up that time, getting the sweet spot up air he was looking for. Okay, you're going to see that a lot from Venny. The fadeaway forward airs would make it so safe on shield, like you said. Okay. Well, Speaking of safe aerials, man, Young Nair. Link's Nair, great pressure tool. You can double jump after using it in a short hop. Uh, but the dash attack up smash from Venia. Oh, dude. Yeah. Tail as old as time. <laughs> they landed down with the Nair. Oh, that. Was he trying to auto snap? I don't know what he was looking for. Maybe he angled that boomerang and he got an accidental FB because mm. that just seemed very weird. All right, Biddy with the combo opener here, down throw to fair. Nothing off of it, though. Venia going to fight out his disadvantage. Land some nice damage. Oh, the tech chase. The oh. fake out with that dash. Oh, he oh got it again. God. Venia has momentum. He's out of jumps. No bomb in hand, but he gets back on the stage and adds some damage onto the board. Yeah, this just got out of hand real quick. Biddy's been leading like the whole game. Going out to Boomerang to force out the air dodge. He recognized that Venia was out of jumps. Oh, and a simple roll is all it takes to get behind him or to get back into the center. Bro, that Boomerang coming back. I thought he was going to do something nasty with that. Okay, just stuffs out the up air completely by going for his fastest aerial, the Nair. Oh, these guys are whiffing right now. The fire oh! arrow! Oh! The fire arrow? <laughs> that, wow! All right, Biddy. Crazy knockdown setup there. There was no way Penny was ready to tech a fire arrow from the he ground He probably level. wasn't even thinking to tech. Like, that was probably yeah, like nothing that happened saying. in your yeah. brain. Like, what? Yeah. Look at this. I it was so quick. I definitely got I, de I, I lost two stocks to that, man. Jeez. Like, there was no way he could have reacted to that. There's no way he thought he was going to be even put into that situation. Right, right. Very rare that you see that happen, but it does work. Of course, get a projectile that pops you up like that, just like the fire arrow. Yep. Mm, and Biddy was ready. Floor. You know he had that confirmed in his pocket. Yeah, for sure. And you can still tech chase off of that with your down air into a kill. So it's not like Biddy was just solely banking on Benny and misplaying and not teching. But I think he reacted to it and he was like, all right, I'm going to do the early dare rather than right. covering and waiting. I mean, he can react once he lands down on the ground with the dare, too, you know? Yeah. Okay. Dash attack trying to get that follow-up. Biddy going for some directional air dodges down to the ground as fast as possible to avoid whatever setup Benny is going for. Yeah, that's like the panic escape from disadvantage, right? It's very effective if they're not looking for it, but, man, you can get punished really hard if they're aware. And I guess someone like Benny can probably get away with that once, you know? Yeah. Minimal amount of times, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but he's going for it again. Okay. Biddy, or sorry, Benny, I'm looking for a different kind of air dodge punish, though, yeah. like the neutral air dodge punish right in front of him. Which is uh, something that Benny likes to go for against a lot of opponents. Yeah, I think people think that if they're in Greninja's face, they can do something about it because he doesn't have a great grab. I mean, his jab is pretty good, but not the best out there. Wow, that up smash almost killed. Jesus Christ. It Benny, a what? Not even giving him a second to breathe. The thing was, Benny, Benny came down with that down air, and you th you saw Benny like weave in and out to avoid it to get that follow up right afterwards. So that was like, that was crazy. Okay, gonna punish the forward smash. He was looking to try to close out the stock right then and there. Benny had to go for a double jump. Oh, spikes him, but just not enough. Too low percent. Yeah, Greninja spike not too strong. Uh oh, that boomerang interrupts. Biddy the turns it into an advantage. Huge. Yeah, man. All right, Biddy, still alive here. 1-1 one, one in the set, but man, Benny had just shown some signs of life. Got to pull ahead. Wow. Oh. Eating through the get-up attack, too, just holding that charge. He knew. That was a risky option for Biddy. He thought Biddy was going to jump at him. That's why he opted to go for that, but Benny just playing patient instead. My word. I like Benny holding his ground there with the back airs. 
Not trying to drift too far into center, but either way, Biddy gonna find his mark with a kill move. Another down air here. Oh, ooh, big damage. Looking for that air dodge. Didn't expect him to fall down with it. Benny is just so fast, man. Dash attack to turn around back air. Oh, oh and you got a tech. Down. Yo, essence of the ending of last game, man. Gotta be looking for those setups. Benny has had enough. He spot dodges right through the grab. Gets him out of here with the down tilt setup, and that's gonna be game three going to Benny. Uh, and having a good down tilt that you can just cancel a spot dodge with that confirms right into a kill move. Mm. A lot of characters have that mm. too. I, Young Link has it. You Young know? Link does, yeah, but it's not nearly as fast as Greninja's. Oh hell right? no! Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Instant. That little karate chop, he like breaks your ankles. Like, yeah, is that? Does he do it with his hands or his feet? I thought it was. I his thought it was feet. his feet. I thought it was his hands, isn't it? I, I honestly don't know, man. I'm pretty sure he like karate, he karate chops. I think it is with yeah. his hands, yeah. But in Smash Four, it was his foot. They changed it. They changed the animation a little bit, but I don't know if they changed straight up what limb he uses. Anyway, whatever. I honestly. Don't care. Regardless, he's popping you up into the air. And that's what matters. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Final Destination. Oh, Get yo. those platforms out of here. Um, forgot to tell you, man. This is not eSports commentary, so you can say whatever the fuck you want. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're, we're chilling, man. Fuck we're, it. We're yeah. drinking, yeah. Hell yeah. We're chilling. All right, so anyway, 2-1. Uh, Venia in the lead. Not too bad for Biddy. You know, coming back one game, but I mean, he's already trailing just a tiny bit. Missing a big parry punish. Yeah, man. Greninja, whether you parry or not, he's still going to bounce off that shield to safety. Very oh difficult God. to punish that. Yeah, that was uh, wild. I, I, Biddy thrives off of Final Destination, I think. It's like, it, it, it's so hard to land against the likes of Young League, especially Biddy's. So you take away, you can take platforms out of the equation, it becomes even tougher. Yeah, uh, I mean, as a dude who's been playing two links since Brawl, right? If this stage isn't right in your book of recipes, what are you doing? Mm. Are you even cooking at all? Cooking up a storm here, trying to cook up a solution to game five, man. Trying to make this way there. He's got a lead, not a hefty one. We could definitely work with it. Yeah, I'm liking, liking how Biddy is going for the short hop back air into first hit of a second back air on his way down. Really cool stuff. Normally, I just see other young links go for the... Um, the Nair after that, but he's getting landing bear combo starters off of it. Hasn't worked out so far in the set against Venia, but still something to keep an eye out for if you're a young Link player. Almost a Toon Link, man. I mean, it's tough, man. There's, you got Yink, Tink, Link, and a dead young Link, man. That's nah, good dude. Good. If you're woke, though, this one is Link Link. <laughs> that's, how, that's what his real name is. <laughs> young Link is Link Link. Link Link. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, he just stabbed it. right through the skull, man. Wind wow. Waker, boys. That's the wrong game. You're not even in that one. The... <laughs> I know it's Biddy, and Biddy loves Toon Link, but like... No, I, I know, but... This That's how he mask, kills bro. Ganon in Wind Waker, man. mask, bro. All right, here we go. Yeah, that, by the way, best Zelda. Free. Yep. Free. And I wish Young Link could transform it's into... a scary one. Into the, yeah, it is. Into the Deku and Goron and Zora and all that shit. But... Either way, I mean, he's hanging in there with Venia still. This is a bit of a comeback. Has been Venia's control for, honestly, just most of both, oh. all three games that have been played. Oh, he held no, down. he was shook. He was shook, dude. He and so was Venia, though. Yeah, Venia was shook, too. He wasn't ready for that speed of how he, uh, quick he'd get down there. He avoided the smash attack. However, because he was holding down too long, he went through the ledge. That's super unfortunate for Biddy, because he had the right idea. That was the right option to go for. He just held it for too long. Okay, that uh, fully charged shuriken, transcendent, just going through the boomerang. Is it transcendent? Uh, it didn't clank it, so I figured that's. I, what it was. I don't know. I I forget because I think uh, they changed something about shuriken. Don't know if it was the like priority of the move. There's water on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a shuriken. Bro. Yeah, it's it's, gonna, it's gonna work against fire. Oh, big punish! I don't know, man. This is looking like Biddy's last. But Venny is a nut, but. Oh, uh, they both are, dude. Do you, think, right. do you think the down air uh, prompted Biddy to go for that early up B? Maybe. Maybe. But I think he was dead either way. Like, I don't think he could have survived. He pulled out the bomb, but the thing was, like, it just it, 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 didn't, more time. it didn't cook enough. 